try again that's all i can say ams2 version 1.5.6 also features a much improved water shader and 3d trees added near trackside for several circuits and visible dust clouds from cars running over dirtier parts of the track i've tested that that does actually work all components of the visual updates in progress for version 1.6 milestone updates a few months from now uh hornet games the join button is missing for you yeah check your version hornet games there was an update uh on saturday i think it was to version 1.5.6 that lady in the pink hat very excited in the bottom left oh you can't quite see because the uh the chat's in the way let's see if we can find that i haven't got my heart rate monitor on see so, anybody think i'd never done 116 of these live streams before so yeah, the water does look really nice. I kind of expected it to be moving, but I was hoping it wasn't, if it did move the, the ocean and the lakes, if they did move, that it wouldn't impact the frames, uh, frame rate. But obviously they couldn't get it animated. So they've uh, what you see there is pretty much how it is when you're floating around and taking photos. Uh, what else was that? So we've got uh, added Stock Car Pro 2024, revamped the Formula Ultimate, as we've already said, added a new track, Nürburgring 1971, uh, Beton Schleifer, I hope that's how you say it, somebody educate me. Uh, general, fix some types of engine component damage, not applying additional repair time in pit stops. Fixed, uh, oh, hang on. Where have I got to? I've lost where I'm. Uh, enable offline dust particles. Added high fidelity water shader. Uh, crowds near the track may slightly may slightly move now. Uh, well, they, we, we've got some definite movement, and the cameraman looks better than before as well. I might, maybe I'm imagining things, but yeah. Uh, uh, fixed wheel visually sinking into the uh, the fixed wheels visually sinking into terrain in some circumstances. Added replay support for track flag panels. New replays only. Added custom DRS rules for Formula Ultimate. Added event preset championship and point system for Stock Car Pro 2024. Adjusted mandatory pit stop open lap to equal lap 5 and scale minimum race length to equal 15 minutes for Stock Car Brazil 2019 to 2023. That was a long sentence for me. Uh, UI and HUD added new control bindings for ICM for onboard differential adjustments. Updated Formula Ultimate Gen 1 icons fixed incorrect label on audio device input when disabled and when we'll get to physics and ai and tracks a little bit later let's do some racing oh that's over there now move that back over there right there we go uh it's the only server that doesn't have a join button for you Ooh. Is that the correct version? Uh, version uh, 1.5.6.2 something or other. We got a lot of people in. Let's have a little tootle. Let's have a little tootle. Oh, I wanted to check the... Uh, Let's return to the pits and edit setup. There should be a wing adjustment. What? Ooh, what's that there before? It says in the release notes that it's now adjustable. I don't remember it being there before. Hmm. Wonder what difference that makes. Shall we turn it off and find out? You've sent a screenshot in Discord. Oh, hello. Yeah, that looks like that looks like um, yeah, that looks like the correct version, Hornet. I wonder why you're not seeing that. Maybe maybe restart the game and try again. 
I have I have no way of banning you at the moment, so it's not me banning you. <laughs> but thank you, thank you for uh, sending the screenshot so I could see. Right, I need to just get one lap in. Right, I'm going to do one lap with um, no rear spoiler. And then we'll try it with it turned up to the max and see if we can spot a difference. We do need to get the... Uh, oh, hello. Hello. We do need to get the tyres up to some kind of temperature because they're a bit cold. So, you know, they've said that they've updated the edges of tracks and done trees and things. I'm, I'm now paying attention to the edges of tracks and that's not always the best thing to do when you're trying to navigate a circuit on cold tyres. Good. Did you notice how I got that excuse out of the way before I even got to the crash? a bit of rubber at me. Where did that piece of rubber go then? Has it still not worked, Horny? That's really weird, that is. I, I literally have not seen that before and I can't even think what it might be. Stick shifting. Thank you for all the likes. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that like. And even consider checking out in the description below the link for Discord where we have got Matt B, who's in the lobby, and Len in the lobby there over on the voice channel in the Sim Racers Arm Discord. I will be joining them very soon. I just wanted to get a couple of laps in. Got left two minutes. I hope you can join Horny. That's a really weird, uh, weird bug I've never seen. Does anybody else in YouTube chat know how to solve that? I've never come across that one before. I know they've added the uh, the adjustment on the wing, but does it actually do anything? If that question's for me, the answer is no. Oh, Wall of Champions! Uh -uh. I don't think it needs any rear wing, if I'm completely honest. It's driving kind of how it used to drive. I can't get a clean lap in, mind you. Oh, it certainly can be modded, Hornet.
it definitely feels slippier on the dusty side of the track. Not by a lot. Welcome to the stream. No, I appreciate that, uh, Mike, because that's kind of what my I do when somebody's having an issue. I just spurt things out, even, and I often say this is probably the most stupid thing. But is it this? I always caveat with, I may be stupid, but sometimes the simplest or the stupidest things are the things causing the issue. Oh, hello. No, oh, hello. What's going on there? Hello. Tell me, tell me you all saw what just happened there. <laughs> I won't bother setting a lap time. Got plenty in the lobby. Nice and early. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah, that's kind of what happened, Cody. Kind of had a massive stutter. I had some big hiccups just before the uh, stream started. I did a restart, but then they carried on once I got everything up and running. And then it just did it live on stream. All right, honey, you know we're still going to be here for another few hours yet, so just hope you can get to join. Oh, that's one thing to watch as well. Watch as it's resetting fuel and things. That little bug has come back. Do a temporary save. Let's reset that. Here we go. Let's see if we can remember to stick shift. Got a good start. Oh, we got a couple of beamers in the in the house. Sneak round the outside, so we're on the inside for this next sharper exit. Oh, oh, oh BMW. Oh no, no, no. We nearly got away with it. That's right. We need some, something to chase. Tin top racing for you. Oh, we got somebody oh, scrambling on the grass. Matt B. Come on, Matt. Get back in it. Plenty of time to catch up and make up for any issues we've had, including myself.
Coming in hot on the left. Oh, Carlos is up on the grass. Slowly catching the pack back up. Oh, <laughs> we still had we still had two wheels on the grass. Oh, oh, what's going to happen here? Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, no, 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 <laughs> no, don't stop there like that. We're definitely going too wide then, I thought, thought for a moment. Right, we managed to wriggle our way up to 10th. It has made a difference. I've got one click on the rear wing in quali at zero. And it has made a, a tiny difference. We're running default setup. Apart from that tiny bit of wing adjustment one click down from default oh we got where's he going where's he going well done for reversing out of the way good driving uh. flat spot is front right SS Racing having massive understeer on the way into that bash chicane. Nearly on two wheels. Who's next? Oh, there's a little bunch of cars. <coughs> The time out looks better, although I think they snuck that upgrade in last week without people realising. Oh, hello all. We don't have to push quite so hard now we caught some of the pack up, and we've still got 10 minutes to go, so... Feather in the throttle like crazy trying to get out of some of these bins. Oh, we've had one of those little glitches, 20 frame FPS frame drop. Yeah, that flat spot is definitely going to get worse if you keep doing that, Matt. I definitely need to take this jumper and jacket off. I'm sweating. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Got that slightly wrong on the way in. <laughs> he gripped up on turning far more than I was expecting. Hammered the curb, threw the car to one side. Is it made or do the, some of these sawtooth curbs look better? Reeling them in. I 
don't know why I went on the brakes as early as I did, but such is life. Who's ahead? We see. Caught it. Frederick, hello, how are you? This is the Mercedes 190E Evo 2 in the classic touring car category. There's a few BMW M3s on the track as well. Oh, the reason I went with the B, uh, this Mercedes is because MS2 have done a recent update on the rear wing. It's now adjustable. Oh, I thought that other car was still next to me then. How are you, Frederick? Oh, why is Lynn parked up there? Better in that throttle. Yeah, that's our best exit to the first hairpin for the whole race. Plus half second up nearly. Well, I see VR in fifth place ahead has been very consistent so far. Even during his little battle with Lackey, who's dropped down to eighth. You'll have to excuse some of my pronunciations. Lang languages are not my forte. Uh, no, I wouldn't imagine. Uh, hang on a minute. No, there might have been. Thinking about it. What what era are these? Late eighties. Martin, hello. How are you? Thanks for joining the stream. Thanks for joining chat as well. It's great to see who's out there. And don't forget to hit that all-important like button if you possibly can. We got away with it. We had a really early turn into the first part of that lash again. Allowed us to keep a tight exit. Who's next? Belladonna. I don't know whether I'm going to... We've got five minutes. Oh, I might catch him if I can have a smooth lap. Or three. Rocco, hello. How are you? Oh, I'm having a, I'm having a few great frame drops. I don't think it's AMS2. I think it's my PC. I think I might have run out of space on one of the drives. And it's, well, nearly run out of space. And I think it's impacting frame rate. I've had that issue... Previously, I can confirm that, that the adjustable rear wing on this is working, and it does seem to make a little bit of a difference. Better in. How's life in Rocco land? I love going through that old chicane. I don't know why they got rid of it, to be honest. I know the lungs. Oh, my words. Try braking properly, Matt. Oh, Crikes, he's facing the wrong way. Feather, 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 go.
We're catching him, we're catching him. Matt's getting excited. <sighs> My fungi bear concentrating. Bethering again, out to the wall. Uh, Frederick, fix setups. No, but I'm running a uh, default setup. But I've backed the... Uh, oh, the rear wing down one from default. There we go, big stutter again. What's all that about? New. No. It's not really being reported as significant frame drops, but definitely having an issue. Rocco, great, enjoying the new stock 24 and the F1. Yeah, we're going to get to those. I just want to try out. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on a minute. Oh, I need to try out this uh, DTM with the adjustable wing. Check that's working. And I wanted to have a quick look at Montreal because it's had a few trackside bits and pieces updated, I believe. And obviously the water's updated, but we can't see over there just yet. From what I remember, it's a big freshwater man-made lake behind us now. And it was used in the, uh, I can't remember what year, Olympics for all the swimming events. Or some of the swimming events, I should say, not all of them. Belladonna. Come to me, Belladonna. Don't forget to the like if you haven't already. It really does help support and promote the channel. And it costs nothing. Oh, I think Belladonna has got a major flat spot issue there. He could not get it turned in. Rocco, where, where, where's the best place? Oh, I've missed my breaking point now. Where's the best place to try the Formula 1 cars? I'm tempted to, uh, because it's an open lobby, to go to Silverstone. Oh, my t tyres feel like absolute... Garbage. I think it's the best word to... Not, e not even... Squared. They feel very hard on the front. That wasn't a nice place to have a stutter, was it? <laughs> Crikes. Right, that's it then. We're going to have, just for Crikes, we're going to have a night of uh, historic DTMs in AMS2, just so we can get the anger driving these cars. My front right tyre is bouncing away. It's been truly squared off. Feather, 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 go. Who's next? Daryl Exchanger. I don't know. How far up the road? Oh, blimey, 20 seconds. I didn't think he was that far away. And Cody's running away even further up the road. Oh, my word. Yeah, that front right tyre, there's not much left of it. Potentially down to the canvas in one section of that tyre. Because it just doesn't want to start. I'm going to have to be careful now. So there you go. Crikes has asked, agreed to a night of historic German touring cars, but he wants wet. Wet weather and rain. We'll do that for you, Crikes. It's very, very clever how it picks up on the flat spot and makes it worse, as it would in real life. Oh, 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 that front right's not happy.
Now, is this the plus one lap, or is there another one after this? Because I'm concerned about these tyres. Uh, Frederick, can't you do a championship server and I will join? <laughs> oh, one more. Oh, my word. Am I ever going to get it stopped? Use first gear as a handbrake. Uh, it's something that I was considering for this year, but it's fitting it into, uh, fitting it into the week. And Tuesdays and Thursdays, I like them to be quite relaxed and uh, all-inclusive, if you know what I mean. So, that, hence the open lobby. But we'll see, we'll see what we can come up with. What sort of time of the day are you available to do the uh, a championship? Because <laughs> I know a lot of people are working. However, the way things are going, I might not be able to fit it in late in the afternoon, evening. Because I have um, have a championship on a Monday. Miss, miss last night because it was bank holiday. And then we have I have a championship on a Wednesday with an, another Discord group. And then on a Friday, another championship. And I don't have much time over the weekends, unfortunately. We're going early on the brakes because that tyre is shocking. Short shift. Carlos, as much as I try realistic AI driving... AI driving not for you. Where have you been AI driving? There's no AI in this. I'm confused, Carlos. What do you mean? Rocco. Oh, hello. Get stopped. Oh. This week, uh, this weekly's F1 is Monza, where my GPU crashed while qualified for Formula <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> we'll give it a shot on Monza. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, I don't normally like these cars, but that was fun. Yeah, it's not a bad combination, actually. You've, you've got a couple of places where you can really let, open up the engine and, and uh, let it get to top gear. I like that, because um, this is the historic. It's got that extra chicane on the back straight next to the lake. And you can go quite nicely through there, get a tiny bit of understeer and oversteer through that section. And then you got the tight twisty bits and some curbs to yeet, as they say. Thank you so much for all the likes. I really do appreciate that. Right. We're stripping off. There's one layer down. Oh, and Matt's, Matt's going to be in trouble. He didn't realise it had started raining and the washing's still out. Ah, he's rating on, is it? Oh no, that's why somebody couldn't... Uh... Why have I got rating on? I haven't. Rocco, you're a star, because I, I know that causes mega problems. So we'll make sure that's turned off. Right, we will do... DTM at Montreal was the first race. Race number two is going to be... 2024 stock at not sure where to go with it yeah we'll go uh... right we need to change the race settings because apparently Rules and regs. Ah, there we go. That's why. I do apologise, everybody. I don't know what lobby I was in to pick that up. Oh, sweating. So let's try. For the first time on the live stream today, Cascavel in the stock car 24s. Rocco, you're a hero. I couldn't work out why he was doing that. I must have picked it up from last week. Somebody must have had it on last week and I joined a lobby and it's picked it up from there. I wish you'd remember mine and not other people's. 
So, uh, Hornet Gaming, if you're still out there, you'll definitely be able to join now. It's probably because the uh, ratings were on the wrong one. <laughs> Crikes. <laughs> Cody, rating was on. Very nice, law. Yeah, no, it's horrendous with the, the rating at the moment. Until they get it sorted. Got more people joining. Yeah, Hornet Gaming, it was my fault. Apologies. I had got, if you look on screen, you I had got rules and regulations. I got multiplayer rating enabled at F100. And that was causing me stutters. And it was causing you not to be able to join. So you should be able to join now. Give it a try. Let me know if you get in. Woo, sweating. Race two of the live stream. Thank you for all the likes. Really do appreciate that. Oh, they're still verifying. I thought you said they have verified. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait. We won't rush the uh, start on this. So where, where were we on reading the update? Oh, oh, oh. Move that over there. that there got people joining now so i don't know whether this will work we'll give it a try oh we can read it uh physics revised force feedback for f usa gen 1 to 4 f vintage gen 1 to 2 f retro 1 to 3 f classic 1 to 4 F Vintage 1 and 2, revised force feedback. Ooh, might be worth a little look at that. Adjusted pit stop repair times for clutch, turbo, radiator, oil leak, coolant leak, engine misfires, all vehicles. Increased engine and gearbox pit stop repair times for Formula vehicles. Added onboard diff adjustments for Formula V10 Gen 2, F Riser, F Ultimate Gen 1 and 2. Adjusted fuel consumption for stock car 2019 through to 2024. We got the French Stig in. Le Stig has joined. Uh, AI fixed issue where the AI wouldn't repair engine damage during qualifying or practice. If AI car pits in for major mechanical damage such as engine damage, it may now decide to retire instead of always rejoining the race. That sounds good. Slightly reduced likelihood of a full course yellow being triggered by an AI incident during the final three laps of a race. That's interesting as well. Updated Stock Car Pro Series 2023 AI driver performance levels based on finalised championship positions. Enabled more aggressive defence moves by AI cars in F Ultimate Gen 2 and Stock Car 2024 classes. That sounds interesting. Might need to have, to little, have a little dig in that. Hornet Games. <laughs> I see Wreckfest in there. Do a Wreckfest stream. Yeah, we might, we might, we might kind of uh, do something uh, either in the middle of the year or the end of the year with that one. Uh, it's at ninety-five percent, so you're not far away then, Hornet Gaming. Len, I'll come and say hello to you in chat any second now. We're still waiting for this to finish loading. I don't know why it's uh, taking quite as long as it is, but it is. Uh, tracks added 3D trees near trackside for Adelaide, both Cascavale, uh, Curitiba, Gapur, Ibarra, Londrina, Taruma, Velocita, Cavello, Goiania, Interlagos, Londrina, Salvador, Velo Park. Velocita. Updated water shader adjustments to suit for Azure. 
or Monaco, Cleveland, Long Beach, Montreal, Interlagos, Buenos Aires, Daytona, Alton Park, Cadwell Park. Now, the, the problem with that is a lot of these you need to get out of the car and use the uh, drone to fly high up to get to see any of the water. That's the trouble there. Ibarra remodel outer terrain for better geographic accuracy, better detail versus polycamp balance, new water shaders, 3D foliage, reworked billboard foliage. Uh, that's for uh, what they call billboard trees, where they sometimes they either have them as a flat in the distance and they turn to face you, or they have like slotted trees that rotate. Um, new ground and road texture, seasonal foliage, green and dry. Yeah, the dry one looks really interesting because of the way that the... Um, I, yeah, we're de definitely going to do Ibarra. We'll probably do that next, actually, because that looks really nice. Right, let's get uh, let's get racing. We'll come back to that. So, so they put a lot of work in again. Let's just do a reset to defaults, just to flush any potential issues out. Uh. <laughs> Lane, you're funny. Matt B had the same issues you had, frame drops and random collision warnings without actual touching the car. He said he was going to leave. For, yeah, that, that's my bad. I left on the uh, ranking. I don't know why it picks up elements from other lobbies that you join and keeps them. And I see some B, BMG. Uh, how about <laughs> BMG Nordschleife race without retrying? <laughs> no, not going to happen. Uh, so... We will go th do that. We will go back to the pits because I've definitely got to get the washing in before it gets too wet. Uh, return to the pits. You can monitor and you can sit and watch. You can watch. You can watch. Sit with Rocco as he goes round, and I'll be straight back.
Hello. And we're back. Wow. I'm out of breath because I rushed to the toilet and got all the washing in off the line in under six minutes. <laughs> See what that's done to the old heart rate. Right, shall we sit with Len for a little while? We've always had a bit of an off track. I do need to kind of squeeze out of the pits if I can. Elijah, what? It's done this to me before. Oh no, I've been disconnected from my own lobby. We'll have to commentate. Hey, Lynn. Ah, oh, wow. It, this happens every now and again. If I monitor the race so everybody can see what's happening while I disappear to the toilet or something, and then try to uh, eject from the race monitor within the game, it it throws me out of the lobby, which is exactly what he's just done. So we will need a new lobby after this one. So I'll have to commentate on this one. Ooh. How are you? <laughs> How are you, Lee? <laughs> Good. Are you off uh, from work, are you? Excellent. Ooh. <laughs> All right, will it let me in? Just thinking about it. <laughs> Can you let me know when the uh, the quality is over? Because it won't let me back into uh, to watch along until that happens. Excellent, thank you. Hornet finally can get in. Yeah, it was the ranking Hornet gaming. I'm so sorry. My fault. Peter Smith, hello. How are you, Peter? Are you joining us this evening? You don't have to. Just just inquiring. Ask, asking for a friend. <laughs> don't know why that popped in my head. <coughs> Got a grid penalty for speeding in the pits. Oh, we can spectate now. Try now. Thank you, Rocco. <laughs> oh okay <laughs> it was that <laughs> i see what you mean screen. <laughs> right i think we should who shall we sit with here oh uh, we'll sit with you we'll sit with you lynn i think <laughs> Oh, the time keeps flicking between 14 and 1 minute. Can you see on the... Uh, yeah. We'll soon see when it jumps to uh, green. If it does, it's still thinking. Still thinking and still sinking. Oh, we got a 14.50 and a 1.12. Okay. It looks that way, doesn't it? Here we go. And we're away. So these are the 2024 stock cars, brand new to Automobilista 2. And this track has had all the track side edges updated. A lot of the tree and foliage has been updated. As Lenny's tiptoeing around the outside, somebody up the inside driver goes ahead. No, he doesn't. Lens sneaking ahead. Scuderia Condor snuck through there. <coughs> Here we go. Any tips for a moto guy like me to get better at car racing in this game? Um, if you're doing these open lobbies, then try starting from the back. Be patient, wait for the car needs to happen in these open lobbies and then pick your way through. Uh, definitely look at time trials or don't don't rely on time trialing. Um, 
it, 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 again, it's a balance of everything. Get plenty of experience. Oh, I like the smoke and the dust there. So, so yeah, it's it, get your experience in. I do like the edge of the track there with the dirt and the dust that was being picked, kicked up. Let, let's see what's happening further ahead. Who's close? What's it like from the side of the track? It, it, is it me or does it? Is it me or do the graphics look better? And I haven't tweaked anything from last week. Mm. Oh, Crikey, he's making a move now. Oh, a big drift there. These cars are far less forgiving now during a slide. They've got the partial one version 1.6 updates to the tyres. Oh, Crikes is flying. Cody's at the front. Rocco's going to go have a real good battle here. Let's go to track side. Let's see the side by side into the first turn is possible. If you've got good racers, good experienced racers, it is possible. Pete Smith, I would love to, but back is killing me. Was out in the rain all day yesterday at Alton Park. Yeah, it was it was horrible at Alton Park yesterday. The rain, <laughs> and then it must have been bad if they were having incidents under the full course yellow. A couple of crashes. Uh, Herio, am I saying your name right, Herio? Hopefully, I am. Tell me if I'm not. Uh, thanks. Did they recently update the game? Yes, they did. We had an update on Saturday. Um, and this car and the brand, uh, the 2024 Formula 1 cars have got the new uh, tyre model. Uh, or part of the new tyre model. Uh, the only thing they haven't finished on this car and the Formula 1 Gen 2 is the uh, thermodynamics of the tyres It's and contact patch. But apart from that... and. It, what's happened is is these cars you could get in the previous versions of these cars you could get into quite a slide uh, as Rocco is having a bit of excursion Bob Gates is up there and you used to get into a, a slide and you could go to quite an extreme slide and manage if you feather the throttle you could hold it almost like a drift car but now they're far less forgiving now uh, Hello, thank you, Hello. Uh, average Mike, pretty bad at moto games, but I don't. Uh, but I know cars can brake later and longer into corners with trial braking. Thank you, Average Mike. They definitely can. It depends what car again, doesn't it? If you look at um, uh, the GT3 Nissan, the Nismo Nissan, um, that one really relies on getting deep on the brakes into the apex and then going. Whereas some of the other cars, you kind of have to get them kind of turned in before the apex and then balance it on the throttle. So it's all about experience at the end of the day. You're more than welcome to uh, join our lobbies on a Tuesday and a Thursday, Herlo. And on a Thursday night, it's a bit, tiny bit more relaxed than on a Tuesday night. We classify it as a fun night on a Thursday. But we had, we never used to, we used to do on a Thursday we used to do random grid starts but it used to cause quite a bit of carnage so we've got we've been sticking at qualifying on Tuesdays and Thursdays of late just to make sure the faster drivers are in the right place and the less experienced drivers are further down the grid but some of the faster drivers choose to start from the back and work their way through and the other thing as well Herlo is when you're starting out have good good awareness use your mirrors lots keep an eye on faster drivers and if they're significantly faster than you have have like keep that into consideration don't make it easy for them to pass but if you are aware of somebody like Crikes, Bob Gates, Scuderia Condor, Len, Rocco, Cody uh, all those regulars that you see in the list there if they are significantly quicker than you on a lap and you know they are Sometimes it's best to cut your losses, let them through and get on with your race instead of spoiling both of your races and trying to compete. I do it myself now. It's very rarely I get into a very long tussle with somebody if I know they're significantly quicker. 
and then that serves you well for when you move into any championships you might get into. Bob Gates is edging ever so closer to Cryx. Uh, big puff of smoke there. Average Mike. Uh, time trial is also good to a good tool to load up a ghost of a fast guy and try and follow them. Absolutely. Uh, Perlo, don't listen to him. He never uses his mirrors. <laughs> Uh, that comes from that that hello that comes from older drive who lives ray lives by his mirrors one of the strongest defenders in the game <laughs> yeah i i set up uh something called the three lap challenge hello uh 80 81 videos ago um and that was because I was joining lobbies, open lobbies on a regular basis, but never knowing what car or track I was going to end up in. So I developed uh, a three lap challenge precisely for that. And I'll show you on screen now while this is going on. So I set up a three lap challenge where I take a randomly selected car. Is it going to work? Is it all going to work? Have I stuffed things up? There we go. So I set up the uh, the randomizer uh, specifically for training myself on randomly selected cars and tracks. So, and you can download it via that link, and you can set up these random car and track selections. And I give myself just three laps to get into the top ten of that particular time trial leaderboard. But you can take as many laps as you want. Back to the racing. <laughs> of the drive dies by his mirrors. <laughs> you trying to get me to sing horn it? So we have got over in Discord chat, Darren Whitehouse, Len who's on track, Petrolhead who's waiting to go on track. So we've got four people including myself over there. Leave it, leave it on, Darren. Leave it on. <laughs> so the guys over in the Sim Racers Arms Discord, link down below, are having a good old chat and an atta. We got five minutes left of this race here at Cascaval in the brand new to Automobilista 2 Stock Car 2024. And the partnership riser I've got with these guys means they can have the official liveries from the word go. And we can see down the side of the track there and just off the track, this just down there you can see the dirt at the edge of the track. And if you run slightly wide on track you will pick up debris and kick up dust as well. Slip sliding away. That's as good as it's getting... Hornet Gaming. I hope that's put you off. So the front runners are having a bit of a bout. The Scuderia Condor is closing in on Bob Gates. Bob Gates was closing in on Cryx, but Cryx has uh, pushed a little bit harder, it looks. So we might have a bit of a bit of a battle coming on our hands here. And we got Rocco closing in on Len in the background there. This ride with Scuderia will jump on the roof see if we can detect some of the dirt being picked up from the side of the circuit when you go offline right to the edge you may pick up a bit of dirt You're getting a good slipstream there and obviously the brand new 2024 stock cars have got the updated push to pass 
where you don't no longer get a delay like you did with the previous stock cars. You used to get a slight one second or two second delay, and then you'd only get one press as an average once a lap. This link doesn't go to the randomizer. Ooh, that's an interesting one. I'll have to have a look at that. Thank you. I'll make a note. Where, do, where does it go to, uh, Hornet Games? Does it go to the front page of uh, Kofi? Three minutes left. Who's got the better tyres? Cryx has put the hammer down. He's starting to pull away. I must say, the graphics are looking rather nice. Yeah, if you scroll down slightly on the right, you'll see the randomizer there. Thank you for that, Horny Games. I will adjust that. Having a bit of a feather just past the apex. You can see a bit of dirt on the, tr on the side of the track there. It pulls. If you cut the track there through the apex and actually cut the cut the curbing, I believe now that the dirt gets dragged onto the track and you end up with a build up. This is a tricky double left hander. I really enjoy this section of the track, and the next one's slightly tighter as well. Oh, Bob Gacy getting a bit of drift on the go, and again, he's well held. There's going to be a good drift down here, but I think Bob Gates is straight on to the push to pass there. We'll stick with these guys. There's the closest they are, closest on track apart from Len and Rocco. Rocco's managed to get in front of Len in fourth and fifth. Oh, big slide there from Bob Gates. He could be under pressure now, coming into turn one, coming down the hill. This is a really interesting position to be in. We'll jump to the roof cam. Scuderius being patient, he's being patient, he couldn't quite gather it in time. Well done to Bob Gates for recovering from that. A lot of build up of dirt on the track at just on the exit of that corner. They're coming in to this. This is a trickier corner than you realise as well. Big slide. Oh! Scuderia had a bit of understeer to oversteer moment there while Bob Gates was waiting for the grip to come back to the car. Double left-hander up the hill. Who's going to get the best exit with 55 seconds plus one lap to go? Scuderia had to wait to get onto the throttle there. We will be going to a new lobby. So we will be going at the top of the screen, Sim Racer's Arms number two, because I managed to eject myself from my own lobby. <laughs> oh, really wide there. Kicking up the dirt. There's lots of dirt along the side of the track there, so it is definitely working the new update. Dirt is being dragged along the track at the side of the circuit. And we have seen moments of dirt and dust popping up. Bob Gates was... That was interesting watching Bob Gates in the centre there. He was going from understeer to oversteer, understeer to oversteer, all the way through Turn 1. He's got the oversteer going now. Uh, he waited, he waited, he waited till he got on the throttle. Scuderia might have a move up his sleeve. Really wide. He can't get tight on the exit, can he? He can. Oh, very close. There he goes, here he goes. Oh, a little bit of contact there. <coughs> I think the... Uh... <laughs> Such patience being shown. The less experienced people will be really sending up the inside on one of these corners. Scooter is just waiting and waiting. In the meantime, Crikes is running away at the front of the pack. Shall we go trackside and watch these on the final lap? Some feathering happening. Let's sit with Bob Gates. This is going to be fascinating to see if this final lap can produce a different position for Bob Gates and Scuderia. Is there going to be a desperate last lap dive? 
Or is Bob Gates going to hold his position on track? Here we go. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Thank you so much for all the likes. Really do appreciate it. We are running the brand new to Automobilist 2 Stock Car 2024 series with the new push to pass, the new tyres on a track that's been heavily updated. And we will be going to Ibarra or Ibar Ibarra, Ibarra, however you want to pronounce it. Trying to look down the inside and he's done it. Scuderia, they're battling. Oh, side by side, coming down to the final corner. He's got it, he's got it. <laughs> Scuderia, what a race, last minute dive. A drag race to the line. I've got a feeling Scuderia might have been saving up a bit of boost for that move. Bad luck, Bob Gates, you drove a great race there. You was, you was on the edge, I think your tyres must have been suffering. And in first is Cryx, a good five or six seconds ahead of the... Next two people on the podium there, and Len pulling up in fifth behind Rocco. Welcome along, Rocco. Thank you so much for joining, and thank you to everybody who's joined the lobby. Absolute great fun having you all here. We got four people over in Discord. I haven't quite caught the conversation. Normally, I get very distract distracted. <laughs> oh, hello. Right. I will exit to there. Martin Scuderia Condor. So hard to overtake here, but the drag race of the finish was fun. It was brilliant on stream. Let's get in here. Let's create a new lobby and we are going to go... Uh, we'll stick with the same cars because I want to drive them. <laughs> we'll get to Ibarra. This has had a major overhaul. Number two. Everything else should be the same. Make sure that's okay as well. New lobbies up, Sim Racers Arms too. Hi Darren. Hi Pete. <laughs> uh, I am absolutely stuffed, mate. <laughs> I, I literally looked at a cream egg today and I thought, no, I'm going to pass. <laughs> and that's not like me. <laughs> I, might, I might have one after all this is finished, but... <laughs> oh dear. And for some reason... Go on. No, I I wa really wanted to run the tw new stock car at Cascavel because I haven't had much chance to uh, drive it uh, today and I didn't get a chance to drive it over the weekend. So I wanted to do one more race in the stock car, then we'll do some other bits and pieces. And a little, little bit later on, I wanted to try the updated Formula 1 2024. Just see what difference that is. And it, apparently it's a tricky car to drive now. Apparently so. Yeah, the slip angles changed. <laughs> Average Mike, amazing racing, Martin, absolutely. Thank you, Mike. Matthias, hello, Matt's VR46. Wavy, wavy, wavy. Uh, Crikes, I don't like the new push to pass system, especially in shorter races. You get 40 of them, and it's now. And has now cooled out. Okie doke. I haven't even tried it yet. Uh, Rocco. Only time for one quick race. Going for a swim now. Enjoy the evening. Thank you, Rocco. Enjoy your swim. Are, are you uh, are you fresh water swimming or in a swimming pool? I do miss going swimming. I, I really need to find somewhere nice to go swimming again. Uh, Hornet Gaming. Well, I wish I could stay, but got to go to do stuff. Good luck, everyone. No worries, Hornet Gaming. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for popping in and saying hi. And if you haven't already, please consider hitting that like button. Have a great rest of your day, Hornet and Rocco. Average Mike. 
How about Barcelona when you try F1? That's a good shout. I like that. Although Interlagos has had a lot of work done to it, so I didn't know whether to go to Interlagos with the Formula 1. Yeah. Uh, this is just button mashing on every strand. <laughs> oh, do do you do open water, Rocco? I, I I love swimming in the sea whenever I get a chance. Whenever I go to the coast, I like to have a swim in the sea. Right, I've never done freshwater swimming. Do I do love swimming? I really need to start again, especially with the uh, amount of chocolate I had over the weekend. <laughs> Uh, Cryx, uh, no cool down I meant. Okay, Martin, yeah, the push splash should be maybe adjusted to the length of the race so you get like one for each lap or something like that. I think it's in line with the actual series, isn't it? So, depends what happens there. Uh, this is just button, mate. I've read that. Uh, come on, Rocco, yeah, just did open water diving lesson uh licensed oh excellent yeah we've got a, a few old friends who've done uh diving uh i just uh average mike i just thought it's good to try to test it's almost like the f1 teams already know this good track to test yeah <laughs> yeah, I, sorry, I misread the first bit. <laughs> so. so we've got the stock car twenty four at Ibarra. Yeah, he's busy with work and bits and pieces, Lewis is. Yeah. Yeah, that's been put on hold as well. I did message him not long ago, and I don't think I've heard a reply from him. When did I re message Lewis? I messaged Lewis on the 29th of March, and I haven't had a reply. But he replied to me in February, so... Uh, They all have, every single race has took it this long tonight. I, no, I haven't. A bit, bit concerned about them too. Not heard of them at all. Andreas, wasn't it, I think. Yeah, the last time I messaged them was the 1st of March. No, they're uh, Austria, I think. But yeah, but they were both really ill for a while with uh, all sorts of weird stuff going on with them. Like, almost like bird flu, I think they said. Yeah, because there's a warning out in this country, isn't there, to steer clear from wild, uh, wild fowl and. Mm, garden birds, wild fowl, yeah. To keep two meter distance, apparently spreading. Yeah, then you'll be all right doing that. You just don't want to, like, if you do handle it, you need to wash your hands after handling the feeders and stuff. Right. After that little chat with Discord, we're back into the driving. We are going to have our first little. Blast in the 2024 stock car. I will be completely honest with you. To make the today's thumbnail, I had to go to this circuit and down the bottom end by the lake is where the thumbnail was created for this live stream. Ooh, live stream. It feels a little bit more sensitive to cold tyres as well at the moment. Nice level of detail. 
Oh, oh we're locking up. Oh. We'll tiptoe until our tyres get a little bit warmer. I've got a feeling you're going to see me spin at least once in this car. Twitchy, 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 twitchy. <laughs> I'm being very, very patient on the throttle while we're on these cold tyres. We've got somebody else spinning out in Discord. Ooh, there's a funny white patch on the tarmac there. What was that white patch on the tarmac? Average Mike, I will read yours any second now. Let me get around this hairpin. If I can. Oh, okay. Understeer. Tiny bit of oversteer. Tyres are slowly coming up to temp. You can't quite see the tyres bottom left corner, but they're slowly getting temperature in. Uh, good track to test. Sorry, my phone auto corrects. Not only that, it corrects in Sweden. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, hello. Ooh, okay. It corrects in Sweden. Kind of annoying when you're typing in English. <laughs> uh, it could be more annoying, Mike. It could be me auto correcting both Swedish and English. <laughs> you wouldn't want that to happen. <laughs> Okay, okay. So, whilst you're within the grip... That, that, that is such an interesting difference. Okay, with the understeer, while you're still within the grip and the tyres are just thinking about understeering, there's loads of information through the force feedback about kind of... Uh, like a granular coming and going of grip is the only thing I can explain there. So there, it's kind of thinking of understeering, and you can feel it, the tyres kind of coming and going from grip. Right. I, I'm trying. Okay, okay, letting it roll worked. Right, now we've got proper temp in the tyres. I'm going to go one back on the brake bias. I think I need to reduce the brake pressure because I don't think I've done... I normally have to lower it quite a lot. With a brand new car. Okay, there you go. First spin of the day. That was with one click to the rear. Oh, that's interesting. Now we parked over here. Got a nice ambulance and a Mitsubishi recovery vehicle. But just to the left of us, through this fence, let's find it. There's a little gap. Well, you can see through the uh, the shrubs and the bushes. Just there. And just over there, in the distance, there's a motocross track. I was hoping... I was hoping to be able to sneak through the fence somewhere and... Uh, And have a little go round in one of the uh, rallycross cars, but I can't find a way through at the moment. Let these guys through. There's another one coming through. Oh, one of my alarms are going off. It'll have to wait. Right, we will try and get one more lap in. Oh, there's a car on the outside there. Woo. Right, let's try and do one, just one. <laughs> One more time lap. Let's see what we can achieve without spinning this time. Of 
quite a big lift to get this one turned in. Uh, a few nibbles on the wheel to get it turned in. Sinks didn't want it to rotate way too much then. Okay. This car likes to roll through corners a little bit more than I was expecting. Oh, that white mark on the tarmac there puts me off. Don't know why. We're completely in the wrong gear there. We should have stayed in second. Let's see where that puts us. We had a big jump up the leaderboard there. Right, let's just quit out that so I can turn my alarm off. And I just need to have a quick look at something. I'll get my phone in my pocket. That's really annoying, that one. I don't know why I've got it set to that. But hey-ho, that shut that one up. Thank you for joining the stream. Welcome along. Woo. We managed to stay up there. Just hope to stay in the top 10. That would be nice. Heart rate still through the roof. <laughs> Just shows how unfit I am. <laughs> oh, we're on race three. <laughs> how long's left? Nearly at the end, a few seconds left. Craig struggling to put a full lap together in this, always messing up at some, some of the corners. <laughs> right, let's jump back. Matt is there again. Great laps. Managed to stay in the top 10. Have you noticed how the cars bounce when you go back to the pits sometimes? Yeah, you need to be careful with that. Because I had damage in one of these cars when it did that, when I was testing it in the beta. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Let's 
strange. Had a couple of times uh, the first two races it was zeroing out the fuel, that old bug, and zeroing out the setup, so just double check your fuel, do a temporary save. Uh, Martin, yep, yeah, really hard to do a clean lap here, T especially now with these new tyres. Especially now with these new tyres. Oh, I was going to have a quick drink. Can I fit it in? Eight seconds. We're in. All right, let's see how we get on. Let's see how this push the pass works for me. <laughs> massive, massive lag on the clutch. <laughs> it's getting interesting already. Oh, no room there. It was worth a little look and a nibble. The car on the left of me has spun in the mirrors. He's still going round. There was no contact. Right. The one thing I've noticed with these. 2024 cars is there's less less wheel spin on initial throttle press Oh, too wide through the chicane is not the best idea. Do we get to press our button now? Okay, you get a 40 second press. Okay, okay. Oh my word. And then a 39 second press. Okay, so definitely more, well, a different way of thinking about it in these. So you lose a second. No, that weren't 40 seconds of press, was it? A count of 40, and then down to 39, 38. Each press reduces by one. I don't know whether it's seconds at the moment. We'll find out. Okay, so the way the brakes are set up at the moment, it's like you brake until the car starts rotating once the tyres warm up. And then you release and then get back on the roll. And continue the rotation on the throttle, I'm concentrating so hard at the moment. Oh, we've got a big spinner there. Where's he going? Let's get around, tiptoe around this. <laughs> now 38. I don't think that was seconds though, was it? Was anybody paying anywhere near enough attention to work out whether that's 40 seconds on your first press? 39, 38 second presses. Oh my word, where are you going? So much understeer came in there. Got another spinner. Thirty-eight 
patience and consistency, I think is the uh, the name of the game with this car on this track. Oh, oh hello. Problem I'm up against here is Mr. Redmond, who's right behind me and also in Discord chat, has already admitted that he's been driving this car pretty much all weekend in different situations. So he's completely up on what this car's doing. Oh, I'm going to have to go really. He's still there. We're going to be side by side all the way down the mountainside. Just about kept it in. So much understeer. I do like this new tyre model, I must admit. However, uh, this car needs some setup. I'm holding everybody up. I am the cork in the bottle. <laughs> Real conversation going on on Discord. I'm glad I adjusted my brakes. Woo! Interesting bit of tarmac at the apex there. It definitely feels like it's got a tiny bit more grip as you go over it. Oh, you have to with this car once you get the tyres up beyond the normal working range temperature. You have to play constantly with the throttle and the brakes. listening to the conversation on Discord. Unfortunately, for some reason, my stream deck won't let me turn on my microphone to Discord to talk with them. I have to manually do it. If I do that whilst in the game, the game has a bit of a hiccup and a hissy fit. So I'm taking abuse at the moment. I did say that I was the cork in the bottle. Oh, you've got to be ready to catch this thing on a slide. That bit of time out there is really grippy. Oh, I missed my breaking point. Who's behind me? Oh, Matt's the arse behind. I'm going to be in trouble with Matt's behind me. Oh. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh dear, the conversation in Discord. Oh no, 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 I'm having a spin, I'm having a moment. Oh! So tricky and the t tires are so hot. Let's see if we can catch these boys up. Five minutes left. No! <laughs> the front left is <laughs> it's so worn and hot. Just the instant I understeer. I missed the grippy patch. So much detail in this full sweep back. Right, it is not. <laughs> Why did I ever think it was seconds? So you get about a five second boost at each press. And you get 40 presses per lap. So basically keep pressing the Keep pressing the button. <laughs> Keep pressing the button. <laughs> there's there's no penalty for pressing the button anymore. <laughs> Keep pressing the button. Try and catch them up. Oh, understeer galore through there. Tiny bit of left foot braking just to bring it back around into the apex. Oh, oh, oh we got a full wheel slide on there. Oh, and again. I misunderstood how the uh, push to pass works. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, now I understand it. Oh no! Around we go. Around we go. Press the button at the wrong time. That was always going to happen. A pair of perverts sitting on the outside of the track there. I would like, I would like an audible beep to say that the push to pass has reset. What we got left? Two minutes plus one lap. Oh, we're well low. We've got a big stutter going on. Uh, sorry of the live stream. Had a massive stutter for some reason. Sorry, Al Griever. I've gone again. <laughs> I did say at the start of this one. You will see me rotate multiple times because this is the first time of driving this car. <laughs> Apart from trying to get a picture just at the side of the track here with a mountain in the background for the thumbnail. Hopefully we can not drop it any further down the uh, leaderboard. So 
sweating. And the whole of the terrain on this track has been changed from what I've read. got 11 presses left on the push to pass oh, I think I'm gonna be using every single one of them <laughs> it stopped better in the throttle trying to keep some kind of control on this thing <laughs> right it wasn't this corner we were having mega problems with it was then the next left-hander after this one so almost in the position of driving it a bit like a single seater at the moment now that the tires are really warm and worn and the fact that you've got to get your braking done in a straight line and be very careful on the throttle application so these tires are going to be fascinating understeer oversteer wobbling free Welcome along, thank you so much for the uh, the likes. This car is definitely a tricky beast. It kind of reminds me of, it doesn't drive in the same manner, however it's as tricky as the, uh, the V8 stock car to drive, but for different reasons. really wants to fall off the track okay these tires have absolutely had it Talking of tyres, I've got to go and collect some tyres tomorrow for a little project I'm going to try. I've got one left. One press left. Oh, we got another. No, that should be in the last lap. Eddie, hello, how are you? That was my last push of the button. This car felt a bit as first-gen kit car did. Oh, my word. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> right, there's nobody behind for a way, so he might have got away with seventh. Might just about be able to keep seventh. He can... I had an extra dab on the brake just before the apex of that corner. And again there, in the, when it just as it locks, you can feel it kind of dig and pull. Lovely amount of detail. A few more joining Discord now. You've got to be ready to catch that slide. Fascinating update to the tyres. But anybody who was still arguing that AMS2 has too, too much slip angle, it no longer does. Especially in this car. What a car this one is. <laughs> Eddie, don't worry. <really. laughs> what you got to remember, Eddie, is I choose when to look up there, and sometimes my brain's not in gear with what's happening on track.
Hello. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> oh dear. Right, a quick chat with uh, Discord. Uh, hello Discord. I have a, a, one small issue in the fact that for some reason my stream deck is controlling everything it normally does except for the Discord microphone. So I have to, I can't I can't cut in and out like I normally do. I have to wait for the the race to finish and then manually do it. So, <laughs> so, so you bunch of perverts on the side of the road there, flash, flashing and indicating and doing all the things that I've I've read. <laughs> yeah, I saw that as well. And the the steamed up windows were a clue as well. <laughs> so do you apologize to uh, Matt do you? <laughs> oh you have already I was just about to type in. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> um, there's a apparently a hist another historic Nurburgring. The, the concrete hell or something they called it. I think they nicknamed it. I can't remember. Uh. <gasps> Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I can't find that track, right? Oh, there it is. I found it. A tiny little thing. A tiny. Oh, yeah. I'll put it on screen now. That tiny little thing there. So we need... Um, what about, what about, what about, what about those? Lotus 23s on that little track. Yep, you can choose the minis as well. So this one is called... The, uh, the Beton... Be, be, Beton uh, Strifer, I think it's called. Ah, okay. Thank you for that. Ooh. Give that one a whirl. And then we've got... Um, apparently, Alton Park has had a lot of uh, trackside stuff done to it. Uh, Interlagos, I thought we might do the Grand Prix cars at Interlagos because that's had a lot of uh, trackside bits and pieces done. Uh, and Montreal has had a, some of the trees and foliage and stuff done there. And then we got Adelaide, uh, Buenos Aires, and I want to try the Corvette C8 somewhere because the interior has been updated on that one apparently. Have you tried that yet, Darren? The Corvette C8. The Corvette C8 that's had the uh, update to the interior. Okay, so we'll put that on the list. <laughs> uh, the for the lo lovely Formula V10 Gen 2 with the, uh, the groove tyres, that's had an update to various things as well, apparently. I don't know whether to try and sneak that. Shall we do that at Alton Park for a real laugh? Or do we do or do we fancy uh, replicating British GT at Alton Park? Uh from yes well, Sunday and yesterday. It was absolutely chucking it down apparently, and Peter Smith was there standing in the rain all day. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, how's it getting on? Oh, excellent! 
Oh, okay. Good stuff. certainly is <laughs> no I haven't heard that one I have no idea what this track is other than it's a historic version of the Nürburgring kind of such life <laughs> so if I'm correct we race so it's a mad race down the straights and back on yourself but with some weird hairpins <laughs> so this could be interesting club racing especially in a slightly slower car <laughs> I was a little bit too ambitious on the uh, the chuck it in So my theory is potentially the little Lotus might be the uh, better car to have on this track purely because of the tight turns at each end time will tell <laughs> that way to that one lawnmower <laughs> where am I going where am I going there's a track here somewhere, everybody. Through the daisies, Ooh, down the drop. So, I had a commentator's curse moment. <laughs> Matt, learn to keep your mouth shut. Hampus, how are you? Cry, it's tough to get the braking right in that last corner. Spun there three times, yeah. you got to get your braking done before you... That hairpin at uh, Ibarra, or Ibarra, depending on where you were. Quite a lot of understeer in these if you push too hard into the corner. I like the period uh, fire engine. Uh, was it only this car and some other car with the new tyre? Uh, yes, it was the Formula 1 Gen 2. Formula Ultimate Gen 2, I should say. I've done it again. Why am I not getting my braking right on the Turn 1? <laughs> neither, neither is anybody else. Oh my life. Right, shall we try and... Oh, hello, where did you go? <laughs> a mini snuck out of a bush at me then. <laughs> Can't get back on the track. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Come for summer. It just shows how low this car is. Physically, how high it is. <laughs> when the daisies are nearly as tall as the car. Uh, really enjoy it with more cautious driving still miss more of the feel of weight transfer but more edgy tyres great step oh, absolutely uh, <laughs> Kevin M reminds me of a roller derby track for some <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm using the uh, the old slam it into first gear and pretend it's a handbrake Get my drift on. <laughs> How are you, Kevin? Did you have a good weekend? This is going to be fascinating, the race. This first corner is a nightmare. Cannot get my braking point. 
I think it's there where the, the colour of the track changes. One of these curves are giant on this as well. Understeer, 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 go. Right. Concentrate. <laughs> Somebody else is on a minute. Right, that was better. That was a, a bit better apart from the clip of the curb. Into first. I must say, this track looks really nice. Nice four day off. How's everyone doing? I think everybody's okay. I'm full of chocolate, as you might well guess, because I'm a chocolate fiend. My my eldest daughter is, is actually worse than me. She won't admit it, but she is. Cause she did. She disappointedly announced, "Oh, why can't I get round turn one?" That she'd uh, eaten all of her Easter eggs by Easter Sunday, I think it was. And she said it in a way that uh, maybe she was expecting people to feel sorry for her. And that was never going to happen. I had my last one yesterday. Right, we're going to have one more, one more chance. The only trouble with driving it this way <laughs> is you absolutely overheat the rear tyres. <coughs> Why can I get it turned properly? <laughs> Hello, Joseph. <laughs> Depends what news you're talking about. There's, there, there's, there's been pl plenty of news over the weekend. <clears throat> and I've forgotten how to drive this little Lotus. So this is a brand new version of the Nord slash Suds Life. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Somebody tell me off if I got it wrong. Don't forget to hit the like if you haven't already. Thank you so much for all those likes already. <laughs> Darren was trying to break the toe and we're not in a race. We are in qualifying. It's such a uniquely handling car, this little Lotus 23. Where will that put us? Oh, fourth. I'll, oh, I'll take that. Getting stopped is the problem. <laughs> yeah, I'll just I'll just slow the car down with front front understeer tire scrub. It just shows how small this car is if you can get slips room from a mini. I'm a half a second up nearly. <laughs> Which news, Joseph? Which news? The purple wrappers littered around the house then. <laughs> no, I'm a good boy. I managed to fill completely fill the bin. I can't go any more high side than this. Oh no! I was half a second off. Come on! I'm not going to get them tents back. It's all over. It wouldn't have got me any further. Look at the times the other boys are putting in. Right, let's see what we can do here. Where the tarmac changes colour. Wow, okay. 
<laughs> that first gear trick is funny. You can't do it if damage is on. Joseph, has AI difficulty got harder with the update? I tried a little the weekend and had a hard time hanging on. <coughs> yes, I'm... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Joseph. <coughs> yes. Uh, it's it's to do with... I read it earlier. It's to do with the... Uh, some of the tweaks that they've done in to the AI generally, but also some of the tweaks to the AI tyres, I believe. So I, th I think basically the 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 average driver of AMS2 will have a good race against 100%. I think that's what they're aiming for. Craig's well, got a double downshift and spun me instantly. <laughs> now I'm scared for that. <laughs> oh dear. Ooh. Who else is in the Lotus in Discord? Uh, I've been utilising the first gear as a handbrake method for some of the corners. <laughs> Whilst damage is off. <laughs> The only problem is it does cut the tyres pretty rapid, so you can't do it every single time, but it definitely works as a handbrake. <laughs> nah, it'll, it'll just do an instant forward roll, won't it, if you do that? <laughs> No idea how much fuel we need, so we're just going to put plenty in. 15 minutes plus one lap. Fuel is on. So we have got a full lobby and lots and lots of regulars. Orangutan Claws. What a name, Mary. It's a fantastic name. Love that name. Some of the names you see. Uh... Uh, Eddie felt felt a bit like the Nosring. <laughs> oh, the Norris. Norris. I can't read. I'm having issues. <coughs> Uh, Cody, I don't like this first gear <laughs> tactic. It, it definitely does a feel natural. You might get away with it a few times in a real life car, but you like most with these old delicate race cars, you're most likely to rip a few pistons out of their seats. <laughs> uh, ready up, everybody. Uh, I don't mind some extra headroom for harder AI. It's worse when they're too slow. Yeah, absolutely. Joseph drove with 108 AI. Yeah, it's, I've noticed that it seems to be coming down a little bit, depending on the car. But yeah. Crikes, I'm trying less brake pressure in the race. Hopefully I don't go straight at the first corner. Right, let's try manual. Start. That weren't a bad start for one of these. Expecting the minis come steaming up behind. Oh, we got a few people off. I'm only half off. There's a bit of a pile up behind by looks of it. I've got terminal understeer there. <laughs> There's all sorts going on on Discord at the moment. <laughs> oh, what's going on on Discord? There must be carnage further back there. Wow. Oh, I've missed my braking. Definitely a first gear jobby. We will be probably in the summer. Once one, version 1 1.6 hits, we probably will start moving to damage on the cars. 
because we will have raced the regulars uh, which are averaging out about 17 per lobby over the last probably 50 live streams we've raced enough together that we should be able to cope with damage being turned on on the uh, set it up don't get too close to that curb because that That was awful. I didn't want to come out of the shop. I'm remembering to stick shift. Thank you for all the likes. That's so generous of you. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the like. We've had people coming and going from the lobbies. We've had the regulars staying in the lobbies. Terminal understeer again. You've really got to get this car set up on the throttle on the way into a corner. The the boys ahead are having a good battle. Scooter here. Look at the dust being kicked up because they're off of the racing line. That was really nice. Got to get the braking point into this turn one. It's so tricky. What a lovely little track for these cars. This, this is like they were made for each other. <laughs> oh, I wanted to stay in touch with one and two. <laughs> Tried to break the sleep stream. Who thought? Who would have thought you can drift these things? Look at the dust being kicked up. It's working. It's working. Lovely little touch. Well done, Riser. Like it. Like it. Like it. Oh, we've had an incident. Scuderia has had a moment up on the curb. Can we get close enough to get a tow? These pancake cars, UFO cars, call them whatever. It looks like it's facing the wrong direction, the one in front. The design of the rear, rear end. Curb. Oh, oh no, I nearly did exactly the same. <laughs> He's rejoining. Ah! <laughs> Tight in the slipstream of Craig's now. Put all in horribly when we come to the turn one. We're going to push him all the way to the brake zone. <laughs> Who is that, Lynn? <laughs> oh no, was it Cody? I thought it was Lynn. I don't know who it was. Somebody pushed me all the way through the braking zone then. That was really funny. <laughs> oh dear. A fun race. What else would be good down here? I reckon the I reckon the rallycross cars be good round here. Oh, we're getting them stutters again. Oh come on, don't do that. Just being kicked up again. I love the way the track looks in front with the, the low sunlight hitting the different tyre treads and the, the track. Oh! 
I'm going to lap him in, eh? Trying to stay out the lock up. I mean, these old skinny tyres lock up. It's really hard to get back out of the lock up. Oh, caught up with him quicker than I thought I was going to. Cody's absolutely flying the way he's caught up with the front two. Going for fifth gear, there isn't one. Oh, Rob, hello. It's Pete. He's probably been up a dozen times. <laughs> oh, we got some back markers as well. Oh, get turned in, cart. Oh, Cody's had a big off. We got Mark Redman, back marker. How you doing, Rob? Big slipstream. Kevin M, Matt, I'm getting a big stutter when my pit crew comes out. Any solution for that? Yeah, in the graphic setting somewhere, set it so you can turn the animation off. That used to be the old way of dealing with it. Um, or you can turn it off for all, all, all pit boxes except your own. I'm sure there's something. Have a little search for those fixed terminologies for the fix. Catching up with Cody, slipstream, he's trying to run away. Come back, Cody. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. We've got nine people over in Simracers Arms Discord. If you want to join the gang and have a bit of a laugh and a giggle and a joke with those guys, you're more than welcome to. <coughs> There's a link in the description down below that should take you through to Discord, or it should be in the the live chat. Nightbot should have put a link in the live chat somewhere. Rob, doing good, matey. How's the update feeling? Actually, Rob, the uh, uh, stock car 2024s, they, they kind of, they're, they're pretty damn close to what you expect them to be now. There's, bear with me, there's, there's, there's less uh, slip angle that you can get away with. But they haven't they haven't finished the tire update yet because they've got to tweak the thermals and the way the tires uh, the tire flexes over the tarmac and the way it sits in the little grooves of the tarmac it doesn't really apply to these because these are running the vintage tires and if I remember I read some oh my word why did I change the first Yeah, these vintage cars run on vintage tyres, and they're the same tyre compound as uh, lorry tyres, if I remember. Uh, Kevin M, I've tried those options, I will test again. Well, the other thing as well is, um, a lot of the... Oh, bear with me, bear with me. Oh, he's going again. <clears throat> Where's he going? There's a lot more of the classes that have had the relevant uh, pit crew updates regarding what clothes they wear, depending on what vintage car you're driving or class of car. So I don't know whether it's something to do with that, Kevin. Is it since the update or before, before the update? Oh, 
<laughs> that Kirby's so inviting for some reason. <laughs> you just you see you go, can I get closer? Can I get closer? Uh, Rob, I heard there's a bigger update soon, so I think this update is just... It certainly is. I, I think th two or three months' time is the next big update to version 1.6. I think that's roughly the time scale. Hello, Kerb. Wrong way. So we've got three minutes plus one lap uh, since the update. And yes, check the um, check the release notes on Steam, and there's a section in there about which classes of car have had the. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joseph is in as well. Oh, got a terminal understeer again, and somebody on the side. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Got some places to make up with, about one and a half laps to go. And that's the other thing with the cars that have had the update. The, the initial turning has got a, a sharpness or an edge to it. Um, but the slip angle is a lot shallower. And the little Lotus has got the run on the minute. We pin him over there. We're closing in on Joseph again. The mini's gonna dive down the inside. Oh, big wobble. We're catching back on with Mark as well. One more lap, no, two more lap, this lap and another lap. <laughs> so this little Lotus at the moment is enjoying uh, the slowing, slowing fast out technique and being a lot more subtle on the brakes which I struggle with my left foot was never designed for subtlety Kevin M uh, Rob Keen yep <sighs> yep on the update a couple of two two or three months away from version 1.6 I understand I might be completely wrong you know what happens with these sort of developments they might find some find something horrendous and go oh my word we've been doing it wrong all this time it's going to take another few weeks well, I don't think so I think they've Pretty up on it since I got rid of the. <laughs> Where did Mark Reminger? Since I found the double layer of tyre information that was running early last year. Getting a good toe. That's really interesting. You, you can you can have like subtleties in your braking zone, 
and feel the car start rotating and come off and back on again to continue the rotation. Here's the jaw. 15 minutes of probably one of the shortest real tracks, non-karting tracks in AMS2. Nearly, must, <laughs> nearly missed my turning. Kevin M, I'll check. Uh, it really throws you off, almost crap, as a result. Yeah. And as always, anybody who finds any issues with AMS2, get back onto the forum, Riser forum, and let them know. I've had sev several occasions now where uh, I've posted stuff and that they have reacted to it. You don't want to flip one of these. <laughs> now, if you clip this concrete just right, you can. No, not in this car. You can get it to corkscrew off. Enjoy that. That was a lot of fun. Did, did we enjoy that one? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've no... I don't know... Which car was you? You was in a Lotus, weren't you, Mark? What about you, Pete? In the Mini. Okay. What I've noticed in those, because we drove them last week, is if you slam it into first when you really shouldn't, the back end tramps, so the rear axle bounces up and down when it's trying to grip. I don't know whether you detected it. So you don't get many cars that do tramping anymore. Well, I know it as tramping. My Chevette used to do it in reverse gear. The back axle used to bounce up and down like crazy. <laughs> right. Uh, we've got a choice of... Uh, uh, da -da -da -da. Adelaide. Uh, Buenos Aires. Alton Park. Or Interlagos. Uh, <laughs> okay, Adelaide next then. <laughs> um, and what card do you fancy? <laughs> what What about the um, the Corvette C Cor Corvette C eight? <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on. <laughs> I'm getting. I'm getting. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that, that's not the car, by the way, either. Uh, hang on a minute. They said Corvette C8. So that's a C3. G, GTE car. Yeah. So we can't have that because it's DLC. You can't have the ro road going version. I thought it was an old one they were showing. Sorry, we'll go for that. <laughs> oh, these are going to be horrendous through them left and the ninety lefts and rights. Because <laughs> you like sliding around, Mark, and the. Uh... Uh, 
Yeah, but you have to encourage this one. Uh, you've changed. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well that's that's the beauty of doing uh, sim racing is you can eat all the chocolate in the world and it doesn't slow you down like, unlike in real life <laughs> i was just about to say before i was abused by smudge hello nige hello ian hello paul and hello Joel, and I'm, then I was going to say hello, Smudge, but now he can do one. <laughs> did we? Did we have a good weekend? <laughs> oh no uh, the, the the conversation over on discord is horrendous at the moment <laughs> Right, we're going to have a slidey time here at Adelaide in the vintage touring cars. We got the Corvette C3 and the BMW. The theory is that the Corvette should have the edge over the BMW because of the straights. And in an experienced driver's hands. Dear. Sorry, everybody. We are on race five of the live stream. Thank you so much for all the likes. Welcome along. <laughs> We're still wobbling. So, this is another track that has had trackside objects updated regarding trees, foliage and some other bits and pieces a lot of the close trees are fully 3d now that's my understanding we should be stick shifting that and i think some of the uh, grass around the edge of the circuit has been updated and all tracks i believe should have dust pick up so if you go off the racing line too close to the edge of the track if you run down this section, you should kick up loads of dust. Also, the tracks will show the racing line a lot more during the rubbing it, rubbering in process. Oh, we cut too much. Can we get around the bendy bit? Uh oh. Oh, there's a, there's a car there. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's give Smudge a shove. <laughs> oh dear. Did we actually set a time? No, we need to set a time this lap. We can't, we can't keep having off tracks. <laughs> oh, we navigated that one. State. Short shifting, trying to calm the rear tyres there. Oh. <laughs> Somebody's in absolute hysterics over on Discord. <laughs> He's the Joel. I wish you guys. I'm going to have to try and sort something out so you can hear the uh, the Discord chat every now and again. <laughs> He's still laughing there. That's very funny. Scuderia is having a moment. There are not many, not many cars and track combinations you get to do a three-point turn during qualifying. <laughs> Further, 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 go! We're not going to go faster this time. Four tenths down. Oh, we're off. We're off. How did I get that? Set it up and break it. And then play with the throttle to get it around the corner. Right, I did this corner wrong last time. Like it. Let it roll through. Rip up, back on the throttle. There we go, found some more time there. Um, nice and early for the horrible hipping. <laughs> <laughs> Throw all that time away. <laughs> Ooh. We're nearly up, we're nearly up, we're nearly going back. Hey. I haven't stopped smiling since I started got, got in this thing. Whoa. Get round. Here we go. Right, this time. <laughs> it nearly worked. <laughs> Thank you, Wall. <laughs> I'm something you rely on a wall to keep you from spinning fully. Right, we need one more flying lap. The car coming down pretty rapid behind. Okay, that's the quickest way, or nearly the quickest way. Through.
getting out of the way. <laughs> Who's that who caught, caught me up so quick? Let them get away. Who's it? Scooter here. <laughs> Should have known. Two seconds off the pace. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, style it out, Matt. <clears throat> Zim the in. How was that? Uh, no, <laughs> no, we're not getting around again. Oh, absolute monster. <laughs> the guys over on Discord are having a real bit of banter again. You need to get over there. If you want to have a giggle. If you want to see what Matt's smiling at like an idiot. Get round. <laughs> It's all going to end in tears again. Oh! I th think there's a little bit of space in the server still if you want to join. We're going to go with plenty of fuel. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for all the likes. I do appreciate that. Thank you so much for the, all of those that have joined in the chat tonight as well. Uh, Cody, yes. <laughs> and even when I thought I got the first chicane right, it turns out I hadn't. <laughs> I just need to turn Discord down a little bit. <coughs> Come on, continue. Did we all enjoy the uh, the rise at April Fall about bringing a fishing game into uh, AMS two? <laughs> and there were were a good handful that fell for it. The hook, line, and sinker. If you don't. If you don't mind the pun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, I think. Uh, I wanted to change something else as well, didn't I? What did I want to change? I wanted to change something else. Somebody's <laughs> somebody really playing up on Discord again. Right. I, I'm going to go off. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Uh, better save that as a... Ah. <laughs> 
All right, manual shifting. See if see if see if you can manage it. Cody, I feel like a penalty coming up for me in this race. I can't stop the car. How did how on earth did I roll that far? Somebody on the inside. Oh. Oh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> FP Pro Stig's in the house. Can we get it stopped and turned? These cars don't like doing two things at once. In fact, they only really like going a full throttle in a straight line. It smudged us running away. We can't have that. The cheeky Welshman. He's been giving me lots of abuse. Oh, hello. Who was that? Cody! <laughs> we, we, had, we had a bit of a, a bit of a problem there. Okay, is that the way you get through that chicane? You can really feel the tires kind of the gyroscopic forces in the tires. It's really hard to explain. Oh, if people are still you're having a bit of a a teleport. <laughs> oh, he's threatening. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining. Oh, we got a big wobble on the way in there. Cody has challenged the strength of your bumper multiple times. <laughs> he certainly has. I can't stop. He doesn't want to stop. I'm following FB Pro Stig. Oh! <laughs> With the door banging the trees. Oh, the old the old switcheroo. This car does not want to slow down once it gets going. Oh no! Stuck together! <laughs> Cody! <laughs> Let me let the hamburger through! He's got a big smile on his face! FP Pro Stig is off the hook! One second behind Smudgester! Smudger, Smudgester will be grinning his all the way to the the next lap.
make her understeer. They're pulling away now. I just cannot get this car to turn. I'm leaving the brake in too late and expecting way too much. Oh, Cody, where are you going? Oh, oh! <laughs> I had no idea you was coming back on the track then, Cody. <laughs> I saw you go off. <laughs> oh, too early on the turning. So basically, you've got to really set this car off way ahead of the corner. Too early on the throttle there. I wonder if, it, wonder if the handbrake's working. No, handbrake doesn't work. Oh, oh, who's, who's that? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hamburger <laughs> reversing out of the pits. <laughs> Got me. <laughs> well done, Hamburger. <laughs> oh, he kind of lurches. Oh, that's a track here yeah. oh there's been an incident oh come on catch up the tires will be standing the torch that we're throwing at them One point seven seconds upon our previous quickest lap. Must be doing something. This car likes to be thrown around. I think that's the uh, lesson learnt there. And we're in a bit of a slipstream as well. Didn't want to click the wall. We've done the same as Smudge. so funny <laughs> the language out of his mouth when I just all oh, it was a little t little tap on the bumper <laughs> <laughs> trouble is I can't <laughs> I can't put my microphone on <laughs> to apologize as much for that the gentle gentlest of taps Oh dear. <laughs> oh, sticks at a moment. Cody, <laughs> Cody's challenging. Right, we'll pin the stick there. <laughs> He wants to come over. He's not coming over. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. oh. Can't stop. Can't stop. No.
it was always going to happen at some point. Hamburger and Smudge were closing in on me as well. Run away. Smudge will want to get his revenge. That, it's not how you set it up for that corner. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for all the likes so far. What a combination this one is. We were challenging for first. We did get into first. And then Matt did his usual thing and completely stuffed it up. Oh, we're going to get a 10 21 second penalty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. No, too early on the turning. Four minutes plus one lap. I think there is room in the server. Look at all the people at the top left of your screen getting 21 second penalties for cut tracking. Cutting the track even. Absolutely sweating bucket. You're right. Huh? That's okay. Oh, 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 having a moment. <clears throat> First time on stream, Mrs. Simulator's Arms has come home from work and said thank you for something I bought her. She puts up with a lot and looks after a big child, so thank you to Mrs. Simulator's Arms. Too much. Right, we may be able to catch up with Hamburger again. However, we got a 21 second penalty, so is Hamburger, so we're both going to get bumped all the way down. <laughs> Kevin M. Hi, Mrs. Sim Racer's Arms. <laughs> Last second, come off the brake. Hope it gets round. <laughs> Ain't drag whoever else had done that as well. Oh my word, this car! FP Pro Stig, that was doing the same as me at the final hairpin. Hamburgers having a, a celebration across the line. A bit premature. Oh, get around the cup. My word. Yikes. That's definitely not how you do it. This car is the most hilarious fun. And the reason for picking Adelaide is because it's another one of the tracks that was listed in the release notes for the patch that hit the weekend. I think I mentioned earlier it's got the updates to the trees. Whew. And some of the crowd... I've done it again. What is wrong?
Oh, big stutters. What is going on? What is going on, AMS2? I got Joseph behind me. I think we got one more lap. If I can survive, I am dripping with sweat. <laughs> I'm going to get another track warning. <laughs> another 21 seconds, any second now. I'm surprised at Joseph because he does he does a bit of sliding around on the ice and I would have thought this is exactly the same experience. <laughs> hey Joseph. <laughs> Joseph's currently spitting his tea out or whatever he's drinking at the moment, going, it's nothing like ice racing. <laughs> no it is, you kind of set it up like that and then get back on the throttle like that, and it's just like ice racing. <coughs> Hurrah! I nearly did that corner right. Nearly a success. <laughs> this is a real race of attrition. <laughs> you can say that again. Y you can't believe you can be so heavy on the brake and nothing seems to be happening. Pop up headlamps, I think. I remember. <laughs> Straight over the top of me. But barely had enough fuel to finish the race. No fuel left. Actually, the, the dashboard looks slightly different in there. Oh dear, the jumper's coming off. I'm sweated. <laughs> Sorry for the love taps. No, it was great fun that was. Nobody can, nobody on uh, Discord can decide whether it was good or bad, that one. <coughs> Got the pop-up headlights. So what was the consensus over on Discord? Did you love that combination? I, I take it from the what I heard at the end, you loved that combination. <laughs> Uh, yes, they. I think they do. Apparently, <laughs> if you saw the uh, the ne Neolithic suspension setup and the solid rear axle, uh, I, th I think they are pretty atrocious. Yeah, really old school stuff. A live axle and all the rest of it. Smudge, I can't believe you haven't apologised to me. You reversed into me at least twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. you need to watch that bit back on the stream smudge smudge the the evidence is on the live stream so you know you can say whatever you want in front of everybody else but the the evidence speaks for itself on the live stream <laughs> all right can you get any eye i've never heard of Welshman go that high before <laughs> <laughs> oh dear that was a lot of fun <laughs> so what do you want to do at Alton Park do we want to reenact the GT3s with a bit of rain at Alton Park <clears throat> or do you want something else shall we have a wet start and let it dry <coughs> and shall we do the uh, the classic without the chicanes, just to mitigate some of the uh, 
Because if there's no chicane, Smudge can't reverse into me as much. So. Uh... <laughs> 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 it's a sugar sugar rush, I think. <sighs> oh dear! Right, let's change the race <laughs> setting. <coughs> oh dear! So we have a damp start. <laughs> <laughs> the abuse I get is unbelievable. <laughs> and I think if we do that... <laughs> Sorry, YouTube chat. I've just had so much abuse from that smudged boy. I'll see if I can wind him up. If where, where, where is Smudge? Is he on there? There he is. There we go. Uh, FP Pro Stig, that was a load of form or a handful. Yeah, I'm sweating. Me and Scuderia were P1 and 2 at the start. I think 25 and 26 after turn 5. <laughs> Joseph, you're probably right, Matt. I only have 10 some 4 inches of snow out size. So I <laughs> Syncraft, it's probably full. <laughs> We had a slow start this, uh, to the live stream, but then it's gradually got fuller and fuller of the... Uh, I'll let you know when we get to the next page. It's taken a little while to uh, load up. But yeah, so we're going to do GT3 Gen 1s at Alton Park. <coughs> because Alton Park is said in the release notes for this update to have had quite a few little updates to the track side and the circuit itself and we're doing gt3s because the british gt championship was at alton park all over the weekend and they had horrendous weather <coughs> Horrendous weather over the weekend. Nothing yesterday was the worst, and they even had incidents on the full course, full course yellow. Scooter here, yeah, cry, sorry for the crash. <laughs> uh, Syncraft, are you running some dev version? No, it's the latest update, which is version 1.5.6. Let's just pull over. <coughs> Return to the pits. Gameplay. Uh, turn that off, leave that on. Mid, uh, high, low, and off. Okay, we'll leave it on low. Remember for the next one. <coughs> oh, I was going to tell you if the lobby's full. Syncroft. Uh, let's have a look. See how many's in it. Yeah, we're full. We had twenty-eight grid slots. We're maxed out at the moment, so keep an eye on. Uh, keep refreshing. You may have somebody leave. If I see somebody's name pop up saying that they've left, I'll shout, give you a shout out. But obviously, the stream is a few seconds behind. Cryx, oh, I didn't even collide with you. I got ma magnet with another car, and then some people missed their breaking points. And it, yes, I think that was me and you, Cryx, getting magnetized in the uh, the series of ninety degree lefts and rights. <laughs> I remember getting stuck with somebody. Hello. It's 
So the start of the race, not quali, the start of the race will be <coughs> a damp start and the track should slowly evolve and dry out, hopefully. So I will be starting on slicks. You can start on wets or slicks, it's up to you. A wrangle tang class has been with us <laughs> all of the live stream. He must be liking what he's getting. <laughs> he's a brave, he's a brave person. Why am I not getting ABS? Oh, hello. Why am I not getting ABS? Uh, let's uh, have a quick look, see if it's actually activated for us. Yeah, it's, it says it's there. Traction control. ABS. It says it's there. Let's go again. However, they're not lighting up, are they? Let's return options. Gameplay. Uh... All this is off. What's going on? That's not what they were. <coughs> that can go off. Let's try that again. I'm not expecting the traction control to light up, but I'm expecting the ABS to light up when we get to the... Uh, No, it's not. It's not activating. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if I go back to before the start of the race. We'll go back to uh, <laughs> authentic. See if that brings it to life. So yeah, I can't believe how well the GT3s go around Alton Park. Have a look on YouTube at. Alton Park British GT3 from yesterday. <coughs> Apart from the incident in the wet, thankfully there was no massive crashes. They were all little kind of slithering off on the wet grass and way hello. So we got people coming and going from the lobby still, so there may be a space in there. Yep, no ABS, I'm locking up like crazy. I'm gonna flat spot my tyres. I dare say for the race we'll end up with everything. <coughs> Massive correction there. The outside of that corner's changed a little bit. Had to feather at the throttle. Just stay away from that white line. Into shout corner. Bit hot. I would like to set a time and be towards the point end of the uh, fun and games shenanigans. Another track that's quite difficult to overtake on. Oh, lovely through there. <laughs> will we get a time? Will we get a time? What will it be? Oh, we've gone quickest for now. That won't last. Oh, we missed it. We missed it. No, we haven't. Yes, we have. No, we haven't. Oh. <laughs> we 
are in race six here at Home Park in the GT3s on the... Oh, we're going to have a big crash now. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Rescued it. <coughs> I'm yet to see evidence. Uh, why are we getting these stutters? I don't know what's going on. I, I'm struggling to see what's different. This is this is one of the tr tracks that are specifically listed for updates on trackside objects. The problem is we've got no foliage on the trees for some reason. I think it's set for September. If it is septic, we've normally still got leaves on the trees in the UK. Yeah, Matt B, that was... Um, oh, I was getting horrendous stutters if you watch the start of the stream back. And that was because I'd left ranked... A ranked lobby on. Oh, F100, I think it was on. And that, that causes my PC all sorts of issues. But why we're still getting these stutters now, I don't know. The, the other thing, I don't know, I need to ask the question, but I had a message from one of the devs from Riser asking for my in-game name because I was inquiring about, <coughs> I was inquiring, inquiring about multiplayer and testing. So whether they're gathering extra information from our lobbies, I don't know. Oh, loads of dust being kicked up there. That was nice in the mirror. Oh, hello. Eddie's parked up. You can't park there, mate. Where did we get third? Half second off FP, FP Pro Stig <coughs> and ADB. Woo! <coughs> Josie, if when you start with a full grid lobbies, I start to have stutters, but tonight I don't. Okay. Well, you joined after we got rid of the ranked racing. Uh, Matt B, I also went over the finish line twice without getting the chequered flag. Yeah, we had that once. We had that uh, in race three at I Ibarra. I didn't, don't think it happened in race two, but I weren't in race two. What's the time? Eight o'clock. Oh, we might get an extra, extra one, maybe two more races in tonight. We've done really well on the uh, getting through. Cryx! Oh my god, that was my worst quality session ever. <laughs> I just kept getting, kept crashing. Matt V, and got collision warning when there wasn't a car near me. Mmm, that sounds really interesting. I might try and watch the bit of the stream back tomorrow and just have a look at the early races. Let's see if there was anything there as I throw something on the floor that shouldn't be thrown on the floor. Oh, very nice, was it? Put that over there, it's safe. I need a drink. These, these feel really nice around here. It's almost like these have had a bit of a tweak. Because sometimes these can feel a little bit too slidey around this track. Cody. Alton Park is super unforgiving. Keep getting a tyre on the grass. <laughs> Come on, continue. Thank you so much for all those likes. That's very, very generous of you. So, the verdict on 
this little update, and it, when you look at the patch notes, it's not that small. Is it's uh, it's 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 definitely an improvement. They certainly haven't gone backwards with anything. Put plenty of fuel in. I don't know where they're pretty. No, I'm not. I'm not tweaking. I'm not tweaking. I'm not tweaking. I want to tweak, bro. I'm not tweaking. Right. Let's just have a little. We'll drop that there into one. Done. Save. Temporary save. I'm, I'm expecting it to do what it normally does. And even though I never had ABS or traction, traction control in quality, I'm likely to have it off the start. 15 minutes plus one lap. Fuel is on. Uh, dump start. Cryx also I also had some weird moment where my wheels decided to put the car in neutral and dashy <laughs> bloody tires and wheels. Oh your wheel, I thought you meant the game wheel. <laughs> oh 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 I don't know what to do here. Manual start. No, no traction control, this is gonna be an absolute nightmare. Just like in the real race the weekend. Woo! Can't get around, shout. <laughs> Feather in the throttle. FP Pro Stig was almost anticipating the wet. He's away. Who's behind me? Got loser 420 closing in in the Porsche. Stayed on the brakes way past the apex. Oh, short shifting up the hill just before the apex. The apex. Get round, get round, car, get round. Should start drying out any minute now. I've set it. Hopefully, it'll be a, a very slow. No, no. Oh, oh. I've set it so hopefully it's going to be a slow slowly drying track it won't dry it too quick and we get a bit of a racing line thing is i think my car might have had wet on i mean mean to manually set it to slicks <laughs> and looking at the rear tires i think it's wet and i can't change the setup we need to go hunting the wet Try and get these tyres cooled down a little bit. No brakes. Yo! Right, look after the tyres. Look after the. T look after the tyres. 
We've got a dry line and a, a wet line. Stay, 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 stay. Busy. Could have done with that ABS working. It's not working. Not working. People going off all over the place. Very similar to the real thing the weekend. They were going off all over the place as well, under sa safety car as well. Somebody's on slicks behind, I think. No, I can't stop. <laughs> Somebody else is on the A side. Oh, big slap. Sorry, Cryx. Too much. I don't think this car is going to survive 10 minutes on these tyres. Can't fight. <laughs> We're on the wrong tyres. We messed up. We should have been on slicks to start the race. I have got no front right tyre left. Big wipeout. What a race not to have ABS or traction control. Thank you for all the likes. How can I be getting... How can I be getting a blue flag? Oh, it's all over. Why am I getting blue flags? I don't understand why I'm getting blue flags. We're going to have to go for a pit. We have no front tyres left at all. Oh, lens off. I have no idea what tyres they're putting on. It'll be interesting. Let's see what happens. We might be on slicks. I'm not sure. 
Let's see how they heat up through the rest of the lap. Yeah, I think we're on slicks. Left it a little bit late. Going for the pit. Darren, hello! Well, believe it or not, the start of the race was very similar to in real life the weekend. With all the crashes and the rain. And we got one more. At least one more race. What's the time? Oh, big, big stutters again. We're a second up, so yes, we're on slicks. But we've got no ABS. No traction control. Matt's concentrating. I didn't hear you leave Discord, Darren. <clears throat> how was it? How was it? The update in VR. That's the other question. Who's that behind? They're flying. Whoever it is. I haven't got full confidence in these tyres just yet, but we're getting there. Ooh, oh, I spoke too soon. Commentator's curse. I'm just really frustrated. I can't hit my uh, stream deck to talk to Discord. <coughs> Somebody had the same problem as I had. I was getting blue flags for no apparent reason. The only thing I can think of is that they were on slicks and I was still on wets. Yeah, I think it was the uh, C8, Darren. So the, uh, I think it's the GTE and I think there's another C8, isn't there, somewhere? Porsche's gone off in the background. Right, tenths quicker. DC, is the lobby open or password? It's open. It may be full. Although, at this stage of this race, it's probably now is the best time to try and get it in. Ready for the next one. We will be doing the 2024 Formula Ultimate Gen 2 after this one and we're probably going to go to either Barcelona or Interlagos and the reason for Interlagos is because it's one of the one of the tracks listed by Riser as having quite a few trackside updates Got Joseph in front. I wonder. Oh, I wonder what tyres he's on. Seem to be catching him fairly quick. <laughs> All right, then, DC. Is that the real David Coulthard? I'm. I'm going to say that's the real David Coulthard, DC. That's how he's known to uh, his chums. I'm on the grass. <laughs> oh, here comes the Porsche. She's got mega traction out of that shallow corner. Oh, we got him back. We had to wait for the traction to come back to the front tyres. We were understeering. We're locking up because our ABS isn't turned on for some reason. And I can't do the override. Oh, 
Oh! That was a weird turning. We got blue flashing LED panels at the side of the track for some reason. I'm not being lapped by the guy behind. Potato. Sound like potato. He's getting mega traction out of there. Why are we getting blue flashing? Why are we getting those? He's going to come steaming past now. Little nudge because he wanted the corner. Oh, it's the guys in front of him getting the, <laughs> the flags had activated quite early. I didn't expect them to activate that early. Oh. A wrangle tank loss. Oh. Stay down the brake. Trying to avoid him, but it caused me to have a big wobble. Oh, having an even bigger wobble now. Back right out of the throttle. Easy back in. Large Willie Man. <laughs> I wonder how he got that name. can only guess that potato rhymes with potato has got traction control working because the traction he was getting out of shell corner was immense compared to me got a good run at orangutan claws now Managed to do it this time. <laughs> Who's next? Oh, there's no way we're catching FP Pro Stick, not unless he makes a mistake. Why are the blue flag still on? I don't understand what's happening. Somebody explain. Somebody's. I just saw somebody ducking through the tyres. Oh, it's FP. He has made a mistake. The seven tenths up on our previous fastest lap. We're going to get a toe up the hill, which is appreciated. DC, I was doing twenty minute sprints on it the other day. <laughs> you can show us how to do it then. Oh, I was so close to going off. Oh, we got our braking so wrong on the way in. There's a yellow flag sector. Car parked up on the outside. One more. It's pretty quick to drive it out, uh, ABS and traction control, but uh, you have got such a risk of destroying tyres. No, we're not stopping. Yes, we are. How far ahead were the leaders? 
FP Pro Stick has got back into the groove. DC, where should we go? Should we go uh, Barcelona or Interlagos in the Formula 1 cars? <laughs> Well, we haven't done too bad tonight, considering it's a streaming night. Normally, I have an absolute mare on a streaming night. Suzuka or Manza? Ooh. We could do Suzuka, thinking about it. It'd be nice to fill the tyres through the uh, sweeping bends. Didn't notice it was a wet start. Yeah, it didn't quite pan out as I planned. I planned to do, have a damp start preset with a bit of cloud to slow down the drying out. Um, and I was meant to start on slicks, and it didn't happen because I'm a numpty. Uh, do you see? I'm a fan of Hareth, but not many people know. Yeah, I think in those cars it's going to be uh, it's going to be too much carnage. We need we need a, a track that people know. I think Suzuka's going to be the one. So we're on to race number seven of the live stream, and we are definitely going to go decision made if it's available. It's not available. How is it not available? Uh, uh, Kanzai, there we go. In the former Ultimate Gen 2s. Let's just say try to Discord. Are you off, Nige? All right, mate. It, believe it or not, that was quite a realistic rendition of yesterday's Alton Park race. Yeah, yeah, all the wet weather and the crashes, it was very similar. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, Nigel. Catch you later. I'm going to try, try a different skin while I'm thinking about it. I did try and download a, a skin pack for this today, but it didn't. Uh, it didn't. Didn't load up very well. Oh, I'm going to change the wet. Get rid of the wet. Get rid of the wet. We don't want wet start to this one. Uh, Cody. Don't do Suzuka. Crikes will win. <laughs> yeah, do Suzuka. <laughs> I have no idea. And we'll get destroyed. Uh, Joseph, the wet was like jelly half. Yeah, as soon as they heated up. It'd be interesting to try something like the um, 2024 uh, stock cars on wet tyres but on a hot drying track to see if they've changed. Cody wants to be good. Having TC forced off that race actually tough. Uh, actually taught me I can drive GT3s without TC. I, I actually have the TC as low as I possibly can. And sometimes I turn it off. But I keep the ABS on normally because I just flat spot. Cody, I'm expecting a nice lap here, Craig. Yes. Let's see how we get on. So we have got Grumpy Old Fart and Len left over in the Discord channel. All the other boys and girls have gone off for something to eat or have rage quit after the last sweat race. Craig's got zero excuse if I don't perform. I'm under pressure now. Absolutely. Oh, look at the look at the wheel trims on that one. 
Cody, oh yeah, I can't drive any car without ABS. <laughs> yeah, the flat spots are horrendous. FP Pro Stig, F1 is my weakness. Well, you say that. Well, I know what you're like, FP Pro Stig. You say that and you'll be you'll be qualying in like second and third, no problem at all. I wonder if that 128 by Dan Lewis uh, is doable on the new tyres. We're about to find out. So we are in the Formula Ultimate Gen 2 here at Suzuka, or Kansai as it's known in AMS2. And the reason for that is these Formula Ultimate Gen 2s have got the a substantial upgrade to the tyres regarding being very similar to what version 1.6 is going to end up like. However, they haven't got the final... Um, temperature settings in the tyres at the moment, but they've got everything else regarding the rebound and the flexibility of the rubber by all means, well, from what I've read anyway. F1 is too quick for my brain, can't drive. Come on, Cody. No excuses. you got 10 minutes to get the hang of it. So I'm going to reset to defaults. I've got to definitely tweak tyre temps. No, uh, brake temperatures. I I think that's all I'm going to do for Kansai. I'm going to do a temporary save, make sure it locks in the fuel and settings that we put in. I'll be completely honest with you, I have driven this version of the car. On Saturday I did two laps of Silverstone and it felt quite nice there. Goobstick DC from chat, thank you for the letting me know. <laughs> it's always a challenge working out who's who sometimes. Why goob stick? That's what I want to know. Where did you get that handle on Nick's hand? Is it from a, from somewhere? Oh, hello. These are quick. Well, yes, there's a, a sharpness to the turning, even on coal tyres. Uh, demanding a certain amount of respect of the throttle pedal. Oh, hello. Okay. Having to adjust the turning. It's very positive on the nose. Very pointy. Okay. I'm not locking up too bad at the moment. The weight of the car, you can feel the weight of the car th coming through and the effects it has on the suspension. You can feel that coming through the force feedback. Oh, hello. Hello. Too much too soon on cold tyres. Uh, can you change your gear any quicker, please? How brave are we through here with cold tyres? Ooh, hello! <laughs> that answered the question. <laughs> but you knew it was going to happen. It communicated everything. <laughs> you just can't catch the slides like as quick as you can and hold them like you could before. Quality mode, we're still on freezing cold tyres. Respect the tyres. Oh, we wanted to go then. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, it's fascinating after what we've driven for the whole stream so far. I wonder what tyres it defaulted to. I wonder if we're on like mediums or something. No, we're on red wall. That sh should be softs, I think. So why are they struggling to heat up?
Ooh. Wow. Massive wobble there. I thought we had DRS down this section. Big understeer. Let your shifting be your friend. Shouldn't have got away with that on the grass. But I'll take it every day of the week. <laughs> Barely in fifth gear through the S's. Just having to drop to fourth just to calm the rear axle down. Not got confidence in the brakes just yet. I think I'm losing lots of time by not getting braking late enough. I was certain Suzuka got two DRS zones. Uh, ooh, massive slap. Here we go. How brave can you be through there? We, we got more through there, got more through there. Breaking way too early for the chicane. I'm trying <laughs> side by side Cody. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Let's just try something through here. Oh, Cody's getting understeer oversteer through the same corner. It's switching axles, the grippies. Cody was more committed through there than me. Oh, somebody's had a big crash. You know what? These are pretty nice now. They were, in my humble opinion, one of the better Formula One cars in sim racing. Formula One cars, that is. And now, with that kind of edge to them regarding slip angle and tyre behaviour. There we go. Oh! You know when you're landing back on your, your wheels. Stay over here. Right, can we do this flat? Yes is the answer once the tyres are up to uh, temp. Ooh. <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> that weren't me! That was me. Too slow on the DRS. We got no battery left. What time we got left? You can actually feel the way the car sprung through that corner. Oh, I was letting you through. I don't know who it was. Oh, DC, sorry. I was trying to let you through. I was trying to stay out of the way. Oh. Put your eye on the road, Matt.
yeah this is a lot of fun this car it's so difficult to get this oh spoon corner right i think the campers change more than you realize when you're in a slower car it doesn't have as anywhere near as much effect 130R, oh, you can definitely do flat out in 7th. And I've missed my opportunity to do another quality. Where did we finish? 13th, that was awful, Matt. There's Crike saying he wasn't going to put a time in. <laughs> no worries. Right. No, it's going to. I'm going to. I'm going to stick with the 11 laps of fuel and leave it on default. I think. Just need to check in with Discord. Hi Discord. Was that you, Len, threatening to smash your monitor up? <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> it is the toughest part I found so far is um, spoon. I have real difficulties on the um, middle of spoon and the exit of spoon because the camber changes. So I spun a couple of times there, but every yeah. But it's uh, it's fascinating car. It really makes you think what the tyres are doing. But you can, I can also feel um, I forgot which corner it was on, but I could feel the sp the spring in the suspension and the the monocoque bouncing. So that was interesting. But it, it's definitely more challenging than it was before because you used to be able to kind of drift it a little bit, whereas now it just punishes you. Right here we go. Oh. But it's so different to everything else we've driven on the uh yeah so it's a bit of a shock to the system especially how quick everything happens all i'm gonna say is good <laughs> yeah all i'm gonna say is good luck and it's a good job we didn't do adelaide in this <laughs> right good luck everybody So there's still a couple of places left. Will we fit another race into tonight? Uh, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure yet. Hey, Toy Boy! UFO crashing or lobby? Some fast race. <laughs> uh, Crikes. Uh, spoon exit is tough. It certainly is. Is that off, off camber? Uh, Crikes. Second time I got grid penalty because I forgot <laughs> 60 mile an hour speed limit yeah, well, this is all experimental because this is like I say none of us well not many of us are used to this car with these tires and anybody who has driven it hasn't had extensive time in it so nice to see everybody sticking with it ready up or lose out. Thank you so much for all the likes. Really generous of you. And yeah, potentially the last race of the live stream. And thoughts on this update? It's a very nice little sneak peek as to what's coming in a couple of months. Here we go. Here we go. I don't know what else to say. We're right in the danger zone, midfield. Oh! I didn't even check what tyres I was on. Looks like there's... 
looks like the start of a proper Formula One race. <laughs> a bit of carnage at the start. Uh. <coughs> oh. Come on. Get back in here. Another spinner. Get back in, settle in. Old tyres. Massive stutters. Hatty <laughs> boy. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> All I needed was massive stutters at the end of lap one for that horrible chicane. <laughs> Lenny, Discord chat, he's ranting away. He really doesn't like the Formula 1 cars. These cars are a bit of a shock to the system after everything else we've driven on the live stream today. <laughs> oh, Len. I now have an appreciation for how difficult Spoon can be. Some of the cars we've driven here in the past have allowed you to not fully appreciate how tricky Spoon can be. I think there's more time in the braking zone there to be found. I flat spotted my front tyres, can feel it now. Stop, 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 stop. Come on, car. Matt's concentrating. No time to read chat at all. Chat away amongst yourselves. <laughs> I'll answer after the race. Ooh, stay out of there. These are so rapid. It's a really good car once you've kind of got your head round. What's happening? And the fact it's happening so quickly. Probably need to shove the brake bias back a fraction. I know I can do spoon much better than I am. Oh yeah, there you go. It wasn't even a commentator's curse, it was happening as I said it. Deployment left, so we're in attack mode. A bit more speed in the straight line. Quality mode for a split second in eighth gear. 
We can get out to the... Oh! Ian's gone. So easy to do now in these. No, 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 no. I completely out of the throttle to avoid a spin there. Thank you so much for all the likes. Really do appreciate that. Oh, we're not going to get stopped. Oh, get round. Tiptoe through this section, don't be too soon on the throttle. He'll bite you. Oh, the vibration on the front axle is getting quite bad now. Desperately need to stay in the tote. Keep forgetting DRS. Oh, we had it before and I never used it. Oh, I thought he was spinning. He's rescued it. Oh, the way these things turn direction is quite remarkable. On and off the throttle through that section. He's made a mistake. Oh, there's no space there. <coughs> Drives really nice. I've got to be honest. I've just got to get used to the thing. There was a time when the tyres were a bit too soft and squidgy and I can see what they've done with the tyres. There was a... I think somebody else mentioned it earlier. There's a time... Oh, version 1.4 I think Kevin mentioned earlier. And it's kind of back to that but with the grip of version 1.5 shouldn't have been in first why did I forget the DRS again oh front axle started going from me ah oh, this is mesmerising stuff when you follow... Oh, aero wash. Hello, felt the front axle go light. Oh. The trouble is, true to life, you get excessive wear. And again, you get excessive wear. Excessive wear. I can't even speak. It's taking up too much brain capacity to drive this thing quickly. Oh, add to the lockup. Why don't you? Well, we're in a bit of slipstream. Oh, we had a big switch on the way in. There we go, some of the dust kicking up as he went a little bit wide. New feature. Oh, the front actually is so bad now. Understeer. Had to hold the throttle at about a quarter then, I think it was, or half. Just 
So myself and Levi in front have kind of settled into the groove. Oh, this is getting tricky now. Oh, your internet wins, DC. No. But we are gaining on fifth place. Right, we've got a bit more deployment available to ourselves. Stop, 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 car. All oh, that turning is aggressive there. Understeer galore on exit. Do like the smoke and the dust particles. What we got a three and a half minutes plus one lap. So maybe three laps, two laps. Don't think we've got DRS this time. No. Need to get closer for the next one. Oh, big crash. That felt nicer through there then. I don't know why. And there. Ooh, <laughs> pushing my luck. <laughs> Front tyres are suffering now. If they weren't before. <laughs> He's made a mistake, he's struggling. Oh, we're bottoming out. We nearly made it. We're in DRS. <laughs> no! <laughs> Front tyres are gone. Oh, get round! Yep, just what you want to do, mate. I was trying to stay out of his slipstream a little bit through the bends there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no! <laughs> I turned in wrong. Go on, go on, go on. It weren't you, it was me. See, it's all over. Wow, that stopped quick. That would have hurt your neck.
Oh, Levi, I'm so sorry if you're watching. I turned in for the wrong <coughs> chicane. We are having a real good battle up to that point. The traction out of there. The acceleration. Quite remarkable. If you haven't tried these cars, practice with them. Maybe do a time trial before you enter a race. <laughs> but they're definitely worth a lot. I enjoyed them before, but we didn't get a chance to race them very often because a lot of people complain they're too quick for them. And I completely get that. I turned for that one, I and mean, when I should have turned for this one. Somebody took away the cones. That's my excuse, I'm sticking to it. What have we done? Nine laps, ten laps. And it kind of took about six laps to really kind of get the idea of how they're handling on these new tyres. And even though the front axle is absolutely tortured. Oh, no, no, no. Why do I keep getting these stutters tonight? And those six, seven, eight laps gave me the confidence to get into a real battle with Noose Levi, I think that's how you pronounce it. And then he had that opportunity of a dive into the final chicane. If I'd have realised which, which one I was turning in for, <coughs> we would have had a good race to the end of the race. <coughs> We've used up all of our deployment. One more? No, that's it. Yep, you're right. I don't know what they've done, but you used to be able to do donuts in these. <laughs> I need to apologise. Cody! Uh, my front left flat spot was so bad I struggled in sector one. <laughs> I love this combo. Good racing, thanks for tonight, no worries. DC, may I decide next ra race since I got disconnected? You can. V10 Formula 1s at Silverstone. No, not a bad shout. It is actually on my list. Silverstone. Home of the V10s. Uh, probably that circuit. 90s, yeah. Oh, no, it's later than that, isn't it? 
the V tens were later than that. We'll go for that one, and we'll go for. I do like the V10 Gen 2s, they've had a few updates. Let's push for one more. Oh, I've just seen the time. I can't. <laughs> oh, no, I can't do one more. I will leave the lobby set up, but I can't do one more. So, you know what I'm going to say now? It is uh, 9.02 p.m. here in the UK. You guys have been awesome tonight. We've had a fantastic time on this version, the latest version of. Uh, oh, 2003 somebody's asking for I didn't see the 2003 one is it there 75 75 75 1991 2001 Two, 2001 no we'll leave it we'll leave it on that one he baited us <laughs> I'm gonna leave it running you can race you can definitely race however the the little nuggets that we've had in this update i like a lot of the track updates that have happened the graphics definitely look different along the edge of the track the edges of the track where you can flick dirt up in the air and dust and uh, go offline and you get them dust clouds spot on um what else do i like the tires i need more time on those tires i'm i'm not something not I need more time they, they're definitely better it's definitely more of a challenge and that's a, I think that's a good thing I don't want I don't want AMS2 to get to the point where it's that on the edge that it puts people off driving um, however you can see that a lot of the, the changes that are made there um, <coughs> if you're doing a championship and you've got time to practice and tweak the car set up etc to your driving I think they'll make we had some great racing towards the end of that Suzuka race just um, so yeah I, I, I'm very hopeful for the future and of course we got all the other things coming out we got Nords in ACC which I am going to give a try I might not do a live stream just yet but I will give it a try and see how I feel see if I like the uh, the weight drives and also we've obviously got changes in LMU that are uh, still being updated and obviously Assetto Corsa Evo Assetto Corsa 2 gonna take a while for people to get used to Evo but they are promising quite a lot with that one so as we or some of us start this race I am gonna wish you all a marvelous rest of your day how English is that a marvelous rest of your day <laughs> take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you and until thursday take care of yourselves let's be careful and i'll see you all later bye everybody thank you so much for all the likes thank you so much for all the uh chat and the company i really do appreciate it till the next one bye Thank you.